welcome back to a brand new episode of Matchroom Programming. In today's episode, I'll show you how you can create an FTP account for your website or for your cPanel. And that way you can use the FTP to actually connect to your website using things like FileZilla and get access to all your files and you'll be able to download them locally anywhere on your local device. Now to do this, it doesn't matter if you're with GoDaddy or any other provider, it works exactly the same because we're dealing with cPanel here, so it'll be the same regarding, regardless of where that cPanel is hosted. So the first thing that I'll do is I'll just go to GoDaddy because that's my provider and I'll go to my products. And this part is, is the only part that could be a little bit different, but I'll explain where it doesn't get different. And then I'll just go to the server that I want. In my case, it's this server. I'll click on manage. And it might ask me to log in again here just for extra security. In this case, I will. There we go. So this is the server that I want and this is the website that I want to create an FTP account for. So I'm going to click on launch cPanel and I have a pop-up blocker here so I'm just going to click here to override that. And here we are. So from this point, once you get to your cPanel, regardless of which provider you're in uh, or you're with, sorry, what you will need to do is first um, go to FTP and you're going to click on FTP account. And once we're here, you can see that I've created multiple FTP accounts over here, but we're gonna create one again, just for now. Now, the first thing that you wanna do is basically you wanna give it like a login or some more information, and then it'll end up with your server name or with your domain name. So in my case, I'm just gonna give some, it has to be unique. So I'll just say something like YouTube for password. I'll just set, choose my own password, and then I'll just set up any password that I want. I'll repeat it. Now over here, this is very important because if you leave it as default, what it will do, it will end up creating an account, but it will not, once you log in with the FTP account, you'll only have access to this directory over here, which it will basically create a new directory inside of your file manager. And I'll explain that exactly. So what you need to do is you actually need to remove this entirely. And that way you have access to your entire directory obviously if you want to put some restrictions or some specific files that only the account can view you can come over here and just put the path and i'll explain exactly what that means now but if we leave it empty you get access to everything so now click on create ftp account just like this and it says account created now if we scroll down you can see that over here we've got this one like this now i'll click on configure ftp client and here we get some useful information for example we understand what we, our host is, we understand which port we need and the username. And if you look over here, these are the exact same information that we just need. Now, GoDaddy or this cPanel recommends to use CyberDuck. I actually think FileZilla is much more powerful. Um, so that's the one that I'm going to be using for this tutorial. So now let's go ahead and actually see how we can connect using this new FTP that, account that we created um, with FileZilla. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go back to FileZilla and what I'll do is I'll click on File and then Site Manager. Over here for Protocol, I'm going to make sure that I have FTP or File Transfer Protocol selected for Host. And this is what we can do now is basically we can come over here and we can copy ftp.taparts.com.au and you can go ahead and do that first. So you would come over here and you type in FTP. And because I already did this once, um, it's already filled in, but sometimes it doesn't actually work if I have FTP in. So let's go ahead and try first with FTP.tabparts. And over here, we're just gonna click, or we're gonna copy and paste port 21, which is what actually most servers use. Now for user, again, you're gonna go over here and you're gonna copy and paste this exactly how it is over here for username. And then you're going to put your username just like I did right there. And now, as soon as you click on connect, As you can see, it says could not connect the server. And that's because, like I mentioned, a lot of the times, for some reason, it doesn't work if I have ftp.taparts. So instead, I'm just gonna go and put host. It's exactly the same, except I'm just going to remove that ftp dot at the beginning. And now if I go ahead and fill the port again and click on connect, 
you can see that different things are happening now and now we actually on the right side here we have our remote server and on the left side we have our my actual computer directory and what we can do is we can actually go through any of these and what I'll do now is I'll actually go back to the C panel and I'll go to file manager and you can see that everything in the file manager everything here is actually displayed over here which means that we can copy anything this is basically a website which means that you can basically copy anything from here into your actual computer so I can go to public HTML for example and I can select this right click and you can actually download it now if I go ahead and select just keep going into things or let's say um, like you can see that I can open any file I want and it's basically as if you're interacting exactly here but the good thing is that you can do this and download, add to queue, create another directory and it will straight away reflect on your actual website. So this is how to create an FTP account and then how to use that FTP account to actually log in through FileZilla or any other method and then you will be able to view your website, you can download things, you can move things from your remote server to your local site and it's actually very easy to do so. Thanks so much for watching this video, I hope it did help you, please make sure to leave a like and subscribe to this video and check out my other server tutorials.